Hello again and welcome to another Mordian Glory video and today guys I'm doing something a bit different I'm coming to you from the Mordian Mobile, I'm coming to you from my car Why am I recording this video in my car? Because GW just dropped some absolutely massive news and I just could not wait to get back to the Battle Bunker and start doing a proper video on it I had to do something on it right away because this is one of the most exciting and in my opinion controversial things that GW has done in a long, long time. They have just released a massive nerf for a faction that isn't even out yet. That's right, the Leagues of Votan just received a huge nerf hammer and their codex isn't even released. So if you guys want to know what this big nerf hammer is, I'll go over it roughly now, but if you want to find out the full details, go over to Warhammer Community. I'm doing this on mobile, but if possible, I'll put a link down in the description and everything. But go over to Warhammer Community and take a look at the Leagues of Votan FAQ and the Leagues of Votan point changes. So the FAQ is pretty simple. It's just a one paragraph point change, but it's a pretty big one. They've changed the way that Eye of the Ancestor works, which means no longer if you get a, a six to hit that like auto wounds and then that auto wound also counts as a six to wound to start triggering triggering things like the magna rail ability and all that kind of stuff all that kind of stuff's gone now all that kind of stuff's gone if you get a six to hit if you start activating like judgment tokens all that kind of stuff you get a six to hit it no longer counts as a six to wound that ability was written in the codex and they've nerfed it before it even comes out so in case you're wondering what's the big deal about this what's the big deal okay basically there was this whole thing about where you could take a hecaton land fortress give it the magna rail cannon use the eye of the ancestor ability to make sure that it like, hits on a six it auto wounds and then because it auto wounds on us uh, uh using like the judgment tokens and everything it then triggers the other part of the judgment tokens which is if you auto wound you actually also count as rolling a six to wound which was really big because that meant that your magna rails were going to be not just like flattening like one guy but the magna rails have this ability where like if you get a uh, if you get a, a six to wound then all of the the, the damage starts spilling over so it's not, it's no longer, oh, I'm just going to vaporize one guard. So it's like, I've got like a 10, 12 damage weapon here and it's going to do 10, 12 damage to any unit, be it lots of one man units or like a big unit, like a knight. So that's gone now. That is gone. You can't use the Magna Rail to start wiping out whole squads of guards. And so straight away, that means that hordes are going to have great more, much greater effectiveness into things like Leagues of Foes. So that's a huge change, guys. That is a straight up just fucking nerf to the Hecaton Land Fortress and to all the mag and all magna and just rail weapons that these guys got, like the ones that the infantry can get and and the ones that the, the big tank gets. That's just that's just gone. Okay, like that's a that's a massive nerf. Like that's that totally just that totally just basically takes a big turd on one of the main reasons why you would buy the Hecaton Land Fortress. You're buying it for that big giant rail cannon, and now it's like that rail cannon isn't as good anymore. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, and then another thing that they're doing is all the point changes. My God, the point changes. Everything, every single unit in the Leagues of Votan Codex has gone up in points. Everything. Absolutely insane. So all of the characters have gone up either 10 or 20 points. Every single one. That champion that was running around us nutting people, he's gone up 20 points. Okay. The, you know, the, the squat Gandalf, he's got up like 10 points. Okay, uh, Uhtred, the Destined, and the Kyle, they've got up like 10, 20 points. They've all gone up by 10 or 20 points. M big increases, like, you know, like 10, 20% increases on all of the characters straight away. It's insane. And then all eight, the troop choices have gone up from 11 to 12 points. Only a small increase, but when you think about it, like, over, if you were going to take like 80 of these guys, that's just 80 more points you just don't have anymore for your for your one troop choice. Bear in mind, you only have one troop choice, guys, and now that troop choice has been nerfed. Uh, all of the other choice, all of the other infantry has either gone up by five points or eight points. I think everything's gone up by five points, and maybe the berserkers have gone up by eight. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but they've all gone up by at least five to eight points. Just, just massive, just massive, like. Considering, you know, you've got like a 35 point guy that's now like 40 points. That's like, that's a big increase. It's a big, big increase. You've got some of the, whichever the, whichever the infantry was that cost 22 points, they've gone up to 30 points now, which is massive. Now, on top of that, the two vehicles have gone up in points as well. The two vehicles. So the, the Sagator, the little moon buggy, that's gone up 20 points, which is oh, 20 points, man. Oh, that is, a, that is a big increase. But you want to know the most eye-watering increase of them all? The one that literally, basically was the reason that I was like, I got to make this video right now. I got to get ahead of the curve. I got to do this, man. This is big fucking news. The Hecaton Land Fortress, 
Okay, the thing that a lot of people have been losing their shit about. Okay, the pizza, the what, the, the, yeah, the, what was it? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza wagon just went up from 230 points to 300 points. That is a 70 point increase. That's what's that, like a 33, almost 33% increase on one unit? That's just insane. Can you imagine if they took tank commanders and were like, yeah, 230 points, bang it up to, bang it up to uh, 300. You'd be like, I, I'm just not taking tank commanders anymore. Just, they're just not worth it. But at least, you know, like guard players and other factions, we've got, oh, well, if one thing gets nerfed, we can move on to another unit. We've got, you know, tools and toolbox. The, the voter, they only, they only got, ironically for an engineering faction, they've only got so many tools in that goddamn toolbox. And all of those tools just got made out of like pig iron rather than like steel. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like, honestly, huge nerfs. Will it be enough to cut the legs out from underneath the voter? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We're going to have to see. Obviously, it's so difficult to tell because we've not actually seen, outside of a few battle reports using like Starbucks and stuff, we've not actually seen any any fucking uh, battle reports of these guys or any, any proper battles, any tournament results of these guys. It's just insane. So the fact that they've had this massive chop, just massive chop before they've even come out, it's just bonkers, guys. It's absolutely bonkers. I've never seen GW lay down a nerf hammer this big on a faction before it's even released. Okay, and that's the key thing here, right? That's the key thing here, because this, in my opinion, is, this just proves how, how fucking clever, and I would say, dare, dare I say, like, evil, GW is, how fucking smarmy, how fucking just like, ah, oh, slimy they are, okay, like, because on the one hand, a lot of people are going to be saying like, oh, yeah, well done, GW, well done, you know, you've, you've nerfed the fact, you've nerfed the very time, they were going to be too strong, well done, and yeah, from that perspective, I get it, and I applaud it, and well done, yeah, that is a good thing, they were, they were going to be way too strong, guys, so this is a good thing, but if I'm saying that, why am I then saying that I think they're slimy, evil fuckheads, okay, because isn't it a coincidence, isn't it a coincidence that this nerf hammer drops right after the pre-order for the, for the Leagues of Photon closes? And this is the day that, the, that if you've got one of those pre-order boxes, it's going to arrive today. So you can't even like fucking return it or anything. You've got it. It's already in. You've already opened it. You've already opened it. You've already started building your models. It's already out there. Absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane. Like just... They're, they're so evil. They, you know, in my opinion, okay, if I was to put full tin, tin, full, you know, full tin, full hat, guys, full tin, full hat, right? It's not tin, full, but bear with me, right? Full, full blood angels hat, whatever, full miasma red Kyle hat, right? Okay. I think GW leaked that codex. I think they leaked the full codex on purpose, okay? I think they leaked the full codex on purpose. I think they, uh, they got everyone super uh, sort of hyped about it. Um, loads of people bought that pre-order. You know, everyone who was going to like get it anyway for like the models, they bought it. But then the competitive community who we all know hoover up, hoover up pre-orders and all of the scalpers as well. Think about it, all these people that are going to like hoover up the pre-order and then sell it for double the price later on eBay. All those people were like, mm, yeah, I'm going to get myself some fucking vote boys. You know, all of those people like, have just been, have, have just been got got, they just got got, okay, they just, they just got honey trapped, they got honey dicked, all right, I'm just saying, you all came in, you all saw, you know, photo and wiggling its bum at you, you know, but, you know, all that guys have given you the eyes, you know, all that kind of stuff, and you guys, oh yeah, I'm gonna get myself some photon, I'm gonna get myself some photon pussy, and then it's like, oh, sorry, no, I've got a boyfriend, <laughs> that's what they were like, that's what they've done, they've just been like, no, sorry, you know, you've, you've, all, you've all been catfished. You've all been fucking catfished, boys. <laughs> That's what I reckon. That's what I reckon. Honestly, it's it's so fucking evil. How, like, I mean, as a business, it's, it's like, it reminds me of, like, Frank Reynolds, like, always studying in Philadelphia. You're either dupey or you're duper. And as far as I can tell, GW, they are a duper. And all of those people that jumped on the Votan bandwagon purely because of the power level, you're all dupees, man. You're all dupees. All I'm saying. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to say now. This video is totally, totally sort of random and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, just... Oh man, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you are you rejoicing at the nerf? Are you are you laughing evilly at all those people that just got taken to the farm? Or are you actually thinking, yeah, GW, this is a pretty fucking evil trick? Like, you know, 
<laughs> you know, I want you know, what are your thoughts on this, guys? Oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.